Well, we don't think so. Uh, there was a moment when we thought that Botox, if you use it repeatedly, can develop some, people can develop some antibodies against the molecule, and then it stops working. The truth is, it's, it, we, data came back, and it's not, that's not what happens. Uh, so the, the, the uh, acquiring immunity and antibodies against Botox is very, very rare. And mostly it happens in people who use very high doses of, of toxins for treating other condition, conditions, because Botox is not just for medical, for cosmetic conditions. There are other medical conditions that you can use Botox. And when you use those, those you use very, very high doses. For instance, things like uh, there's a, a situation in the, in the esophagus it is, you've got a very, very uncoordinated uh, contraction and they use Botox to relax it. Also, Botox to situations of cerebral palsy, also for contractions and physiotherapy when you can need to relax some muscles, etc. So there's a lot of applications of Botox besides cosmetics. And usually they use very, very high doses. I can tell you, for instance, for treating those, we use five to six times more of the dose you use for a cosmetic purpose. So... Those are the problems usually that show up with immunity. What happens is over time, sometimes, is we reduce doses because the muscle, muscles get some atrophy and we're reducing the dose. And you stop doing it. So for us, instead of doing it every four to six months, you stay at eight to 12 months without doing it. And then when we come back, we have to use a higher dose because the muscle already recovered some of its strengths. So we need, that usually is a matter of dose, it's not a matter of uh, uh, immunity or lack of process. But it can happen, there are very, very few cases, but usually not associated with cosmetic Botox.